Hi, I'm Peter Coey, and welcome. I'm a Qigong teacher, and this one's about moments of madness. Well, I think we all have moments of madness. I can, I can remember many times when I've done some crazy things in my life. I, I was thinking the other day, what, what could I think of? Which is one that I, I feel less, less um, embarrassed about telling you? One of, the, one of the classic ones I always reckon was a crazy one, because I think I suffer from um, dyslexia, so my mind gets confused quite easily. So I always like things in, in in, um, in, in sort of like it's sorted out. It's like it makes it easier if I have everything in, like, in boxes, then my mind doesn't get confused. But when it does get confused, uh, these exercises, Qigong exercises, of course, have made a huge difference in my life with that. But I remember one time I was um, my, a moment of madness, and I remember I was in a flat one day, and I and I there was a, somebody parked behind me in a car, and I I wanted to go out somewhere, and I asked if I could use the key. So so I got on the car, and I backed the car and moved it over the side of the driveway. And then I got back and went back and so I got my keys, got in my car and I drove back straight into the car I just moved. And of course the first thing I said is, who put that bloody car there? And, and I was like really angry. And then I realised it was actually me. I'd moved it, I just drove straight into it. And I go, and, and, and what, it, what it brought to my back, well, I had so much going on inside my mind that it was just, it didn't, it forgot that I'd moved it there. It was like only two minutes before. I, was at, I, was, I think I was already driving down the road already. I was already driving down. I was probably actually already at the place I was going to already. I, hadn't, I wasn't even staying present. And so I think it's a, it's a great thing about Qigong. What it does is it helps you to stay present. And so the mind can stay locked and the mind doesn't wander so much. I think it's important. So that's my moment of madness. I'll share that with you. I have plenty of more of them. I think it's, it happens, so things happen in your life. I think it's just crazy sometimes. So this exercise we want to talk about this time is about, about grounding. So that the, the idea, you hear the content about you need to ground yourself, you know, and that's thrown around in the world a lot as a comment. But it's not necessarily what you think it is. And I think the, the first thing we have to go back to the fundamental part of a human being is that we were born standing on the ground for a reason. And gravity holds us here. Otherwise we'd float around. Why don't we just fly around and do that? Because that's not the way we work. And we're like an energetic body and all energy needs to be grounded. And there's a point at the bottom of our foot, which is called bubbling spring, where the Chinese medicine sees that that's where your body's anchored to the ground, and energetically it supplies the connection so you earth your energy in your body. We're earthed anywhere we are in the world, we're always earthed. Even if you're flying in a plane, you know you're always grounded, even though you're so many thousand feet in the air, because if you jump up in the plane, you, you, you always come back down again, so you know that connection for the ground is still there. So grounding is really important and in the, in the, in the Tai Chi and the understanding of that and about the vessel and having your vessel really strong with Chi and energy is the stronger your grounding is, the stronger more Chi you can have in your vessel, which is a logical thing. The bigger the earth, the more power. And so a lot of martial arts spend a lot of time spending to work out how to do the ground. They stay in really deep stances and they hold postures for a long time and Qigong does that as well to build up this energetic grounding. Yeah? And so the more grounded you are, the more energy, the more centered you can be. So it all comes in one after another. So I teach you a grounding exercise that you can do anywhere. Um, I'm just trying to think of one that you can, you can do without thinking about it. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. The one I've just thought of is not the right one. I just thought of a different one, which is a better, better one for you. Because I, I just what I said then was where you can do anywhere. So you need to be able to do this. We're going to use the hands for this to show you this exercise, but you can do it just standing somewhere if you're at the trough. At the trolley at the supermarket holding your trolley you can just sit there and do this exercise and just feel this groundedness while, you, while you're sitting there you can sit in a car and feel this groundedness just when you're sitting at the traffic lights or wherever you are in the car probably don't do it while you're driving though but do it when you're resting so the exercise is called holding post it's from another system again it's from a zhang zhang gong chi gong system and it's a very very first exercise called holding post and it's, a, it's an incredibly strong exercise to ground yourself in the ground so it starts off with your palm of your hands facing towards the ground. And all you do is you bend down and then you slightly stand up. Now of course if you did this in supermarket it looked a bit strange, but we're, we're talking about within the supermarket you just hang on to the trolley and do this, it's okay. It still probably looks a bit strange, but it's okay. But you, you can do it with very little movement and still have what's happening inside the body still continue. Yeah? But we're going to amplify it a little bit so you can see it a bit bigger. So we're going to lower ourselves down and then we're going to stand back up. Now when you lower yourself down, the key to this exercise is to make sure that you keep your bum tucked in. So when you lower yourself down, you don't stick your bum out or lean forward. You just go straight down and keep your back straight and then come straight back up again. Yeah? 
So only go as far as you can go without leaning forward or poking your bum at it. So it might not be very far, you might only go about there and back, it doesn't matter. It's the principle of the energetic of it's more important. So we're bending down. Good, now the breathing for this exercise, and you can feel what happens after a while, the energy in your hand starts to build up, and you're breathing in. So now I'm connected from not only through the ground through my feet, but I'm also connected ground through my hands. It's like four points of contact to the ground. And stand up, good. So I'm gonna breathe in as I go down. And I'm gonna breathe out as I stand up. So as I breathe in, I feel like I'm drawn into the ground. I feel like I'm drawn into the ground, breathing in. Like being sucked out and then breathe out and the chi comes out of my hands and my feet. It's almost like a rocket taking off, yeah? So you breathe in as you come down. Breathe out as you stand up. So here's the, 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 the amplifier, the grounding part of the exercise. When I'm going down, I feel like all the energy is sucking me down, yeah? And all the energy from the ground, the inner earth, the inner energy from the ground is sucking into my body. My head string, more, my back way on top of my head, it's, the head string feels like it's lowering me down and the ground sucking me down, so you get both feelings at the same time. And when I stand up, it feels like my head string pulling me up and the cheese coming out my hands and feet. Yeah, breathing in, breathing out. Good. Breathing in. Breathing out. So every time I breathe in, I can feel the stance, I can feel the ground getting stronger and stronger. Breathing in. Breathing out. So when I start to stand up, trying to get back up again, sometimes it's difficult. I feel like I've got to really push to get up because the draw is sucking me down. And then I've got to project a lot of energy out of my hands and feet to push myself back up again. And we're doing this energetically, not with the muscles. So the energy is bringing me down. The muscles are just guiding my body. And the energy has to come out of my heart so I can stand back up again. Good. Breathing in. Breathing out. Great exercise. Do this exercise for about five minutes. If you feel ungrounded as such, and it just gives you that stability. It brings back into you. Just feel the strength and the power come back in your body. As I say, I can do it. I sit on my bike sometimes in the this is my scooter or my bike and I sit there and I just let my body sink down and then I just slowly stand up. So it doesn't have to be a huge movement, it's the principle of what's happening. I'm breathing in, breathing out, breathing in and it just brings it, it, locks it into the ground and breathe in again. Good. And then if you're centered again inside your body. Try the exercise, it's fantastic. So add that to the other one and we'll see you on the next one, eh? Okay. Enjoy your madness and I'll enjoy mine. Hopefully I don't back into anybody. Have a great day, eh? Bye-bye. Thank you.